you're working with us but at the same time we have like a lender we have like inspection we have like appraiser all that stuff we do that work for you What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista Top Realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today, I am with my good team member here in Orlando, Florida and also a homeowner and not just a homeowner, he is also an investor. What we're gonna talk about is his property right here in Davenport where the short-term rental is very hot. But before I start that one, I would like to introduce David himself and how did he start about real estate and what is his plan and also we will talk about as well some good stuff about his property and also how to make some good money in short-term rental all right so if you watching this video make sure to watch it from the start until the end so you will learn a lot i'm super excited for this one so let me introduce to you david david would you introduce yourself absolutely so first of all thank you rj for coming out here to the one up retreat um this has been a lot of work and we're just excited to share this with the rest of the world my name is david sombrano i'm a real estate agent in the central florida area focus on the short-term rentals and with investors i also help people buy their primary residences but my wife and i got into real estate when we bought our, our primary house in 2020 we realized that you know that's a, a really good industry to be in to help people uh, become homeowners and start generating that wealth uh, generational wealth through having real estate so the next uh, evolution on that was to start buying our own uh, rental properties we started with a long-term rental in Sanford we wanted to get into the short-term rental game and we looked at a few different areas and we decided to come here to Champions Gate in yeah. Davenport yeah so that is pretty amazing and I'm super excited for this one I have prepared some questionnaire that we're gonna talk about this one I'm super excited for this one David so let's go to my first question okay. you ready yeah let's go so I have here in my phone so the first question I prepare here is where is the best place to buy a short-term rental property and why so let's get an answer for the homeowner and also an investor here absolutely so there's a lot of people that want to come to Florida to vacation uh, when we were looking at different areas or where we could buy our short-term rental property um, we looked at Daytona Beach because that's where I used to live I used to work there so I know the area um, however that county has a lot of restrictions on what you can do with short term rentals so we decided to maybe look at downtown Orlando which Orange County also has a lot of restrictions so we started looking at amusement parks so Disney Universal SeaWorld they're all on the west side of Orlando and this is where we are now this is the Four Corners Davenport Kissimmee area so if I were to advise someone on where to buy I would look at that triangle if you look at I-4 there's 192 and 27 that's a nice little triangle where a lot of these resort communities are start there look at what's available there's a few different communities that that i would suggest uh, winter hills champions gate yeah. that, that you would really want to look into mm -hmm. the good thing here as well in champions gate is not too far from disney world right, right. that's why i will show you around here he's like the team because first thing that you need to know like if you want to do this for short-term rental right you need to have like a good theme on your houses so you can get more revenue and also the good thing here in champions or in davenport in both counties specifically they allow short-term rental right. because as you said there's a lot of restriction in orange county especially you're not allowed to do short-term rental so that's why they say location 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 Absolutely. correct <laughs> so make sure you take note whatever we talk about here so you get more information about you know if you're planning not just to short-term rental here but you can live here as well right especially if you want to retire here in florida you know this is the best place too okay so let's go to my second one which is like what are the advantage and disadvantage living in champions gate not just in champions gate maybe i would say here in davenport yeah so advantages you already touched on one and it's the proximity to the disney parks we are only 50 miles depending on traffic that could be 50 minutes maybe a little bit more um so that's one of the great things about this mm -hmm. area also there's a lot of new construction so mm -hmm. this uh specific unit was built in 2018 so a lot of the big ticket items the roof the ac the the heat pump all those things we know we're not going to have issues going into it one of the disadvantages of being in, in a place like this it's the HOA the HOA yeah, I was gonna say that. here in Champions Gate um, I'm only paying 480 so it's under 
dollars which is which is doable there's other communities in this area that they kind of reach a seven eight hundred dollar range and that's something that you need to be careful about because that can dig into your profits yeah i mean like some people like don't want to pay hoa some of my clients say like first question how much of the hoa i know that's gonna be painful but whatever you pay i mean like you will get a good service on that one right it's a lot of stuff so if you want more information feel free to contact me or contact david about hoa about this community you know feel free let's go to number three which is like how long does it take you to finish the design here in your property i know this property is amazing guys you make sure you stop by here you know just check it out if you want to stay here i would highly stay here you know for three days four days five days and back to you yeah so the design here we actually bought this property unfurnished so everything you see in the in the place we actually had to bring it in um and the design on the walls we actually commissioned a graffiti artist from colombia um so all together furnishing the place and getting the artwork done it took us about five weeks um we had to extend one week because of a hurricane ian we, oh, yeah. we had to stop uh, our production but um we we did a lot of the work ourselves um so yeah about four weeks four uh, weeks. less than two months you should be mm -hmm. able to put the listing on the market obviously the quicker you can get on there the quicker you can get that income in yeah uh, and so for your investment right return right. of your investment absolutely okay. okay next question how much does it cost you to buy this kind of property i know this is a townhouse right yep it's a townhouse. and then a four bedroom and three, bath. three bathroom and also has a swimming pool in it so you know just give you some rough idea of how much they cost you about this one yeah so listing price for this property was about four hundred and ninety thousand dollars um unfurnished some of the furnished uh comparables are about five hundred thousand that was about two months ago maybe the prices have gone slightly down mm -hmm. but uh by the time we close in september I was able to bring down the purchase price and we also had some seller concessions so so that helped helped us out as buyers um, but basically it was 465,000 to to buy it unfurnished and that that's one of the things I, I want to emphasize yeah. in this current market with interest rates going up we locked in a 7% rate which is a lot of people consider that being high compared to the last two years if the numbers make sense make sure you, you, you look at what the potential income can be yeah. so you can look at those two numbers and pull the trigger on a really good investment yeah that's the thing that i would like to ask another one like what would you give some tips for those people who are planning to buy a property for short term what is the rule of thumb the one percenting i know you know that one because you're an investor but i learned that one as well but i'll let david explain that a little bit more yeah so it's really hard trying to come up with the final numbers because until you go live and you actually put it on a list inside like airbnb vrbo or if you're doing your own book site, uh, you won't really know what the market's willing to pay for your property let's say would you rather give like a one percent rule in this one or like you know in short term because i know for long term you have like one percent rule uh how would you give those like a comparables yep. between them for short term rentals so when we're talking about long-term rentals we use the rule of thumb of the one percent rule so whatever your monthly rent can right. be you want that to be one percent of the purchase price so easy numbers if you buy a three hundred thousand dollar property you should be able to rent that for three thousand dollars monthly and that gives you a really good rule of thumb to see if that's a good investment yeah when you're looking at a, a short-term rental you want to obviously you're gonna make twice three or four times more of a, a long-term rental will pay so you want to to know that in case something happens with the economy people are stopped traveling that you want to get closer to that one percent however here in Champions Gate we went over that we know that there's a little bit risk for us if something happens people are not traveling enough we would lose if we do yeah. that one percent rules however we're making three four times the amount uh, yeah that one percent yeah the good thing here is just because like the COVID is over i mean i would say that's the good stuff or the good news because people are traveling around now and also want to see places so i mean to start like a property or a business like this i think today is the best day you know to start because as you know the market is changing when people ask me personally when if they want to buy now this is gonna be my fifth question if they want to buy now or later okay my advice personally as a realtor i'm not just a realtor we are not just a realtor we have a team okay when you're buying a property not just like oh you need a realtor you're working with us but at the same time we have like a lender we have like inspection we have like appraiser 
all that stuff we work for you we cannot say like this is gonna happen next tomorrow next year next month however we can give you is some advice that to take your action right now because the interest rate is quite high about seven but we are predicting it could be nine or maybe ten percent in the next year or next two years you could have saved like at least couple of or few percentage in there but for your perspective what would you say about people who's in the fence like should they buy them now or wait until later yeah i feel like if the numbers make sense go ahead and do it we obviously took a lot of time analyzing the numbers how much our, our mortgage would be what our hoa would be pool maintenance cleaning supplies uh, power water bills if the numbers make sense go ahead and do it if prices go up prices haven't really come down all that much here in florida um, i believe other states will see prices drop um you're right i think we're gonna see interest rates hit at least nine percent in the next hopefully few years not. hopefully not and <laughs> it'll be a short lived that will make the prices come down but to answer your question the best time to buy is now it's just like the stock market you can't really time it mm -hmm. the longer you wait to get into the game you're losing that potential to learn to start making money early on also the equity right yeah exactly <laughs> so you know every year that you go through paying your mortgage you're building that equity yep normally last year have been crazy that went up 20 30 percent but normally it will be three to four percent every yeah, year every year so i would say even if interest rate rates are high just like we bought it at seven percent here if the deal makes sense it's worth it to, to okay. take take the, the risk and remember in business there's always a risk okay you will not learn if you don't fail or sometimes you don't make mistakes like when we are riding a bike obviously we don't know how to ride a bike right <laughs> you always fall and fall until you make it so this is like the same stuff in a business if you don't make mistakes or maybe sometimes if you don't take high risk, risk. obviously you're gonna, gonna succeed that's what I would say okay for the last one I don't want to make this too long what is your last advice for those people who are watching this or our audience about buying a property not just for sure or if they want to live on that property what was your last tip for them yeah so it's for primary residence buyers you're way better off being a homeowner you know it, everyone's fearing that we're gonna go into a recession that the economy is gonna go down so let's let's talk worst case scenario I'm um, not just a real estate but the whole economy goes down you have a lot more protections being a homeowner meaning that if, if you fail to make your payments the, the mortgage the lender company has to work with you by law if you're renting a place in 30 days you'll have an eviction notice yeah so there's a lot of different benefits not just the the protections as a homeowner but also growing that equity over time um, I saw a video the other day to say hey renters you are paying a mortgage it's just not yours you're paying someone else's mortgage you're paying that's great. Towards someone else's dream you know yeah. they're investors mm -hmm. just like myself I have a long-term rental I have a tenant however you know people have different needs in life but if you you think you're gonna be in a place for more than three five years that's a good rule of thumb that you should buy yeah. if you qualify for the for the loan so that's what we we have today guys thank you so much for watching this video until this end i know it's a long video but if you have any question or if you have any comment that we didn't discuss or maybe we were wrong feel free to comment down below here and we will see your comments and we will try our best to get back to you and answer your question i will also put david email address telephone number social media unless you want to say it yeah you can follow me uh david's i'm a realtor and if you want to look uh what how we got this project done you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram at the One Up Retreat. Okay, what I will do, I will put that link on this particular video. So make sure you check them out. And also, I will put also my information. If you have any question for me, for myself, I'm always here. We are always here as a team. And we are here to help you not just to buy a property, but we are here to give you some advice. If you watch this video until the end, comment down below. One Up Retreat. How's that? Good? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching again and I will talk to you soon. Peace.